let's take a look at number 11. It says, which is the correct statement for the quadratic function graphed? Not so much to the right. Here's another typo I will fix. It <laughs> should say below. Um, but anyways, let's, let's see what we got. So just taking a look at this, this quadratic, things that I will notice is that I have both ends down. All right, that's going to tell me my lead coefficient is negative. If it was both ends up, then my lead coefficient would be positive. Other things I'm noticing, uh, I can see I have two x-intercepts. Looks like I have one at 0, 0, and 4, 0. It also looks like my vertex is at 2, 4. All right, so I, I can read a few things off of there, but it looks like they want the format of this function. So let's take a look. So my function, it always has this multiplier, this coefficient. And then because I have a, a 0 at 0, this would be x minus 0 here. And I also have one at 4. So that would be x minus 4. Now, we don't usually write this as x minus 0. We'll typically just write it as x. So this is a times x times x minus 4, keeping in mind that a has to be negative. Ooh, I can't use my words. It has to be negative because both ends are down. So let's see what this matches up with. So I see the negatives here, which means I can rule out a and b. And then if I look at the difference between c and d, it looks like we have the minus and the plus. But because my my second or one of my x-intercepts is at um, 4, 0, then I need the x minus 4. So it's going to be c for our answer. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.